In this video article, real-time PCR is demonstrated using Solaris qPCR assays. Solaris qPCR assays are gene-specific probe and primer pairs designed to detect all known splice variants of a given gene under universal thermocycling conditions. The Solaris probe has a minor groove binder moiety and FAM reporter on the 5' prime end and an eclipse dark quencher at the 3' prime end. During the denaturation step of real-time PCR, the probe remains in solution and the FAM reporter fluorescence is quenched. During the annealing and extension phases, the primers and probe bind to the target sequence and the quencher is separated from FAM. FAM then gives a strong fluorescent signal. When the probe dissociates, fluorescence is again quenched. Real-time PCR results are obtained that demonstrate the sensitivity, specificity, and reproducibility of this efficient assay. Hi, I'm James Cavino from the Thermo Fisher Scientific Research and Development Team in Lafayette, Colorado. Today we will show you a procedure for setting up a standard qPCR reaction using Solaris qPCR gene expression reagents. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the knockdown of targeted genes using RNA interference technologies. So, let's get started. The Solaris qPCR assay stem is defined by its unique algorithm that utilizes MGB and superbase technologies to provide a single convenient assay for 98% of human and mouse annotated genes. Typically, DNA probe and primer design is restricted by the melting temperature of the probe, which is determined by the number and type of bases. Longer sequences and GC-rich sequences have higher melting temperatures. The minor groove binding moiety used in Solaris probes fits into the minor groove of the DNA helix and stabilizes the probe target.